particularly the kind of boom that smartphone allows for you to. Where do you think it's going, not so much in terms of the technology, but in terms of the way it engages with people? Do you think there's a possibility that citizen journalism can, can kind of hit a platform in terms of its accessibility to a wider, a wider public? So I definitely think citizen journalism has started to gain momentum in terms of activists and individuals who are understanding how they can use the technology, starting to organise and starting to use that in more impactful ways. I also think it's quite interesting that there's a lot of news organisations now who are starting to get themselves organised and develop the processes to better use and, and integrate with citizen journalism and the, um, the work that people are producing, both from a level of you know, how we verify that content, how we build trust and relationships with those communities of people. Um, and then also in terms of, you know, how, how we dis, um, display that platform-wise, how we, how we work with these people and, and how we develop stories. I saw a very interesting response to something that's in the conference earlier this week, which is that once you empower communities in digital media, system journalism. Other issues of art is to do with understanding the context and privacy. Do you think that's going to be something that citizen journalists will need to start addressing themselves over the next few years? Completely. I mean, they're, they're sort of the perennial issues um, that surround the social web or the uh, or, or social and digital technologies. So the issue of privacy, the issue of understanding um, veracity, of being able to uh, report while at the same time being aware of your own safety, of perhaps even engaging with communities on, on the other side and, 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 and helping them tell a story without putting them into further danger and ethical responsibility is a huge, fascinating and difficult and complex area that I think we're all going to have to traverse over the next couple of years and, you know, and, and are already, I think. This week, for me, it's Johnston, is it Johnston Press's decision to to experiment with making all content, drawing all content from kind of local contributors. I mean, how do you personally feel about that? Because on one hand, you can say that's great for empowering citizen journalism, but on the other, it's clearly by some seen as a cost-cutting exercise. I think I think with um, all of my experience working with communities um, from the side of a publication or a, a news organisation is that if you see it as primarily a content farm no good will come of it because people know when they're being used and they, people know when they are being expected to work for free and actually good community work and, and getting the best stories from people actually requires a lot of work on behalf of that news organisation who's, who's working in the, um, with these people in the first place. Now that might not be hard work in the traditional reporting sense completely, it might be a sense of relationship building, it might be a sense of empowering people, actually teaching them where they can get the information that they need and want, it might be a bit more on the side of aggregating information from numerous sources and you're more acting as a assistant rather than uh, the star of the show. I think that's a, a, a talent that, that is not often well recognised within news organisations and not often well sought out um, and is a skill that I think they're going to need a lot more of if we're going to be able to do citizen journalism projects properly and not just try and um, create free content farms. Thanks very much. No worries.